Right, now this is a massive moment in music. Not only is it possibly the final Beatles track we'll ever hear, almost definitely, but it's also a landmark moment for technology. If you don't know how this song now and then has come about, um, it is based on a very old demo from John Lennon, which was borderline unlistenable and certainly unreleasable. At times, Paul, I believe George, long before he passed, and of course Ringo, um, had plans for it, but it's only recently, since the Get Back documentary, that Peter Jackson introduced the band to technology that could separate that existing demo into kind of stems and then using machine learning and AI, take it to a level that's possible to then write on top of it. By all accounts, it sounds like a, a proper full release. So these are some of the amazing benefits of machine learning and AI and music um, in a time that's very strange. I say amazing, me and the Beatles, strange relationship. Appreciate them, respect them, but at the same time, bad memories of listening to Beatles music in the car because of issues with my stepfather. So always had a strange relationship with them as a band. But I'll try and disconnect from that and listen to this track. It feels like something monumental, really. It is such a huge moment for music that it has to be covered on the channel. So the Beatles now and then, Let's see. Oh, I mean, it certainly sounds rich and complete. I know it's true. It's all because of you. And if I make it through, it's all. I mean, this really is fucking amazing, isn't it? Like, obviously, it's a good song. That doesn't surprise me. Melodically, there's nobody that's really going to argue with fucking John Lennon and the Beatles um, as much as I've got my own issues uh, with a lot of their back catalogue. I mean, Yellow Submarine, Octopus's Garden. I like, I can't, I can't, I can't reconcile with that. But the fact that this exists in this form is truly amazing. And listen, I'm a kind of proponent of AI and technology Obviously, there are issues, there are pitfalls, and there are problems. And if it's not managed and mitigated correctly, there's going to be issues. And, and it'll all be about a sort of learning on the fly with this stuff. And maybe we'll all be killed Terminator style. But when the technology is put to good use, look what you look what you get. I mean, isn't this fucking incredible? We sort of meta sorry to pause it if you're if you're like a person who doesn't watch music reactions and he's going why the fuck is he pausing it and i apologize it's just the structure of how these things work i mean the kind of meta uh narrative of this song obviously like a a, a love song a song about um you know a failed relationship or whatever a, a, a sort of long lost love but you know also being sung by a, a, a man long deceased and also from you know one of the most beloved bands of all time that don't make music anymore so now and then let's take it back a little bit So now and then, I want you to be there for me. Almost like fans of the music, fans of John Lennon, people who the music means so much to them. And it's probably, for the older generation, soundtrack so much of their life. And for the younger generations that have discovered the music still, that still have moments that they attach these songs to that are poignant for them. Now and then, they need that.
down and I miss you. Also, also, it's called Now and Then. Now we're here with this song and obviously then is their era. The the layers are uh, fascinating. The cover art is shocking. What's that all about? Amazing. It's fucking amazing that they turned a, an old, unfinished, rushed demo into this. And it is legitimate. It's not like they rewrote it. It is legitimately that demo with John actually singing, but with everything else that's been done to it to make it sound like this. That's mind-blowing. Purely as a song, I think is excellent, um, the way the choruses come back in here. And it is just a landmark moment. Like, it, it, a true landmark. It's all because of you. I'll imagine that that will have a very, very strong emotional response for a lot of people. And um, even as somebody with a mixed relationship with this group, as I do, yeah, it's still it's still connected. I mean, it really did. It's got me all sorts of in my feelings, to be honest, and flooding memories, um, some good, some bad. Anyway, the Beatles, the AI, the machine learning, that's it. Kind of lost for words that that, 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 that exists in that form. All right, thank you very much for watching. Um, please do check out one of the other videos and I'll see you all very soon. Right? Peace.